Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sanity. Today is Tuesday, March the 12th. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, change and then I'm going to read you the last prayer that I read um, in the mornings and then I have a few declarations. Um, it's like positive thinking. So let's get started. Um, a woman of words and not of deeds is like a garden full of weeds. If you don't like the direction your life is headed, then change it. What you have, what have you been promising yourself to do someday? What have you mentioned to your friends that you'd like to accomplish? Today, take a practical step toward getting there. Become the woman, the wife, the mother, the daughter, the aunt, and the friend that you want to be. Rewrite your story and let your happily ever after begin now. Um, that's really good because it's saying we're never promised tomorrow, and so I know. Everybody out there has goals and dreams that they want um, in their lives. And a lot of them, it seems unreachable. We say, oh, someday I'm going to have this, or someday I'm going to do this. Um, and I, I totally understand. There's a lot of things that you can't do that here and now. That's why you haven't done them, is because there's not a possible way to do them now. But at least you know, researching or brainstorming or taking just tiny little baby steps to get you there um, is, is what that's trying to say. Don't just have a goal and then leave it up in a cloud and say, okay, someday I'm going to do that. Um, try and make it reachable. Um, today's prayer is about my children. And it says, Lord, today I once again bring my children to you. Please show me how to parent these precious gifts you've given me. Help me to be the best mother I can be. I pray your Holy Spirit will teach me, your wisdom will guide me, and your love will move me. Most of all, Lord, I give these children to you. Please make this servant after your own heart. Amen. Um, I like that because I, I pray for my children every morning. I, You know, this is a crazy world that we live in. My oldest three go to school, and you I, you would be shocked. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't be shocked because um, I'm sure y'all have kids too. But the things that they come home and say, Mom, you'll never guess what happened today at school. You'll never guess what I saw at school. You'll never guess what I heard at school or, you know, out on YouTube or out, you know, just anywhere on the Internet or, you know, so, and I'm not trying to shield my, my children from that. I know that there's stuff out there in the world. There's evil in the world. And I, I teach them, look, there is evil in the world. And you've just got to choose right from wrong. And, you know, as a parent, we can talk till we're blue in the face. And then our kids may or may not listen to us. So this prayer helps me to give it to God and say, God, please help them be closer to you. Guide their steps. Guide their mouth. Um, guide their hands, help them make the right choice and right, the right decisions. Because Lord knows, mommy and dad telling them, this is not right, this is wrong, it goes in one ear and out the other. But hopefully God can get in their hearts and help them make the right decision. Um, like I said before, these declarations, it's kind of like a positive thinking. So um, I read these every morning. I'm just going to share um, one of them with you today. Um, and it just helps me kind of say this is happening so let's get started i declare that god will accelerate his plans for my life as i put my trust in him i will accomplish my dreams faster than i thought possible it will not take years to overcome obstacles get out of debt or meet the right person god is doing things faster than before he will give me victory sooner than i think he has blessings that will thrust me years ahead this is my declaration I feel that that's a powerful declaration because it's saying, you know, I do have dreams and I will accomplish them with the strength of God. With with me, I can do nothing, but through Christ, I can do all things. And so the dreams that we talked about before, through God's strength and God's power, I'm able to reach those. And it's going to happen in His timing. And it may not be happening in my timing, it may not be happening right here and now, but it will happen. And so if I just keep saying that every day, like it's going to happen. God's going to do things faster than I even thought possible. God's going to give me the dreams that I want. Then you start to believe it and you start to live it. You start to be okay on a day-to-day -day basis. Even though those things aren't happening now, you can still live your life happy. And knowing that when God says it's time to happen, it will happen. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Um, the quote for today is, Worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. 
Um, that is a big one because I'm a worry wart and I've gotten better, like I said, but I still um, worry about a lot of things. I used to make myself physically sick over being so stressed out and worried about everything. Um, but now I just, every time I've told you this before, every time I start to worry, I just stop and I say, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. It's going to work out. It's going to be okay. And I try and move on and onto something else and not focus on the situation at hand. Um, so I hope that this helped you out today and I hope to see you tomorrow and I hope you have a great day and stay sane.